Welcome back to Good to Know. Today we are sharing acts of kindness from all across the country and we love seeing our teachers showered with kindness. After a few final touches, Corey Scholes walks across the parking lot and down the stairs for a special delivery. Hey Pearl, it's Corey. A few seconds later, an apprehensive teacher answers the door. Fifth grade teacher Pearl Mayanja is the first teacher to receive a care package from the Kaufman Foundation. The bag is full of little treats and gifts, but it makes a big impact. Oh, I love this. Normally, Mayanja would be inside a classroom at Casey Girls Preparatory Academy. I truly do this work because I love kids. But we surprised her at her home, where she meets with students via webcam. It's impersonal. It is hard. Just watching how difficult it is highlights the, the need for us doing something nice for the teachers. You do these things every day and they're hard and you feel um, unrecognized and sometimes you feel undervalued but you still persist and then actually having you know, something this like this magnitude come through my house. Like, I, I am just so ecstatic. In a year full of surprises, they don't all have to be bad. Wow, the Fallen Creek apartment complex in North Chesterfield is a long way from Kentucky. But something that happened in the Bluegrass State is inspiring to local educators. This was inspired by the book, The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek, who delivered books to people who live in the Kentucky mountains um, who are unable to travel into town. It was set during the 1930s. Meadowbrook High School librarian Kristen Thrower and Falling Creek Middle School reading specialist Lisa Signorelli read the story of Cussy Mary Blewett at a book club. And so this young single woman got on a mule and traveled and delivered these library books, and it was so inspirational. And as of today, I'm up to over 350 books that I've delivered in my car. So I really am the book lady of the creek because no mule, but I've got my Highlander. The two take books from donations, find them at places like Goodwill, and hand them out to free to students during these virtual school days. People always like, oh, there's a food desert. And I said to Kristen, maybe we have a book desert. Like, I don't know if that's the kitschy new term, but for me, my kids cannot all get to the library, so I don't mind driving to them. We've had kids say now their next dream is to get a bookcase because there's no limit to what kids can take. And their smiles, it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> there you go. A mom in Ohio is delivering acts of kindness halfway around the world. This is the school bathroom. No joke. At all. When Major Chad Playstead visited this small rural Kosovo school where kids went to the bathroom through a hole cut in the floor of a wooden shack, it smells like it. It was a reality check. These kids don't have running water. They don't they don't have they don't have a restroom. They heat their schoolhouse with with a, with a wood stove. He also noticed windows busted out where the cold air could rush in and the school kids had very limited school supplies. He FaceTimed me um, from the school that day. Chad showed his wife, Kelly, what he was seeing. He was saying, like, they don't have anything. And I was, like, shocked. And so we both were kind of like, we have to do something. Minutes after ending the call, Kelly says that something was to lean on her Facebook friends. She posted photos of the school and video of that outhouse asking for donations of school supplies to ship over to the students. What was it like when you started saying, hey, I want I to do this fundraising event for school supplies. Oh, oh, by the way, they aren't for kids in Lebanon or in Ohio. Mm -hmm. These school supplies are going to Kosovo. What was that yeah. reaction? Literally within, I'd say I, ma I made the post. Within 10 minutes, I had like 10 uh, inbox messages. How can I help? How, I mean, it was, it, was very, it was a quick reaction. While Chad and his soldiers put plastic over the windows to cut down on that cold draft and spread out gravel to take care of the muddy school entrance, Kelly was packing up boxes with all the donations as tightly as possible with everything from crayons to glue, sending them on their 5,100-mile journey to Kosovo. 
there were 18 kids at school that day. And I mean, we filled their backpacks up and then we left a, a fair amount of stuff in their, in their supply closet. It was, it was great. And while Major Playstead's tour in Kosovo will end this month, he and his wife see this mission continuing. It definitely feels like there's some sort of calling here. There's just been such a, a connection and there's need everywhere. I want to go over there as a mission to try to see what more we can do because obviously it starts here, right? It starts with school supplies, but then as you get into it, you realize how much more of a need there is for so many different things. We have more acts of kindness on the way, some creating a lifetime of memories. You gave me a teddy bear when I was five years old and now she's 20 something, you know, and, and, um, and she goes, I never forgot that. Feel good stories, positive people. It's all good to know.